guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode. Sorry for the inactivity, guys. I've been on vacation enjoying my last little bit of summer with my girlfriend and my family. Um, the last two days, I got some trout footage, which y'all will see soon. It's really cool footage and uh, got some cool trout film. And uh, anyways, I got home. I've been gone for like 11 or 12 days. And I have a bunch of stuff that I received in the mail that I will... I'm um, about to walk you through and just kind of show you I had a bunch of stuff so I figured why not show y'all what I got. Um, a lot of stuff waiting on me and I didn't have time in between trips to come home and check on them so I got everything in one package but I'll kind of explain what a lot of this stuff is and why I received it in the mail. The other stuff is just fun, Lucky Tackle Box. Um, another package, I don't know what this thing is so that'll be cool kind of a surprise for me too and then this big thing and these two things right here I do know why I got them and I have a reason for them but regardless I'm just gonna walk through real quick on all the stuff that I received over the last about week and a half okay I'll start off from my biggest thing now the reason I received this and two other items is because I ordered one of those bendy tripod things that I hold my camera with and I vlog with um, with the Canon the big bendy tripod that you see every youtuber have mine broke one of the legs popped off and they're not supposed to do that so I contacted the company and they were they had a manufacturing issue and they weren't gonna make them for a couple months and they said that they would give me two hundred dollars in in-store credit for Joby the brand of my tripod and low pro which is another um, partnering business that I guess the owner owns both of those companies together. So they're partners. And uh, anyways, they gave me $200 credit to spend with Low Pro and Joby. So I picked out three items that equal $200 and I just received them. So that's why I'm getting these items right here. This to start off is a, it's a big backpack. It's a fast pack 250. Um, it's pretty sweet, can hold my DSLR, um, my Mac, my laptop, um, a bunch of different accessories, chargers, cables, um, extra lenses, my DSLR plus a lens, my shotgun mic. It's really cool. I'll open it up really quick and show you all kind of what this thing looks like. It's pretty big, but it'll be good for me traveling and stuff like that. Um, has a spot over here for my tripod and um, let's see, a small zipper for wallets or keys or something like that. Um, bigger pocket up top or any other accessories, probably cables and stuff like that. Um, has some zippers and stuff in the back. Opening up this big pocket here. Has another little slot for any kind of, I guess, SD card or batteries or something like that. And then opening up the biggest pouch for cameras, lenses, GoPros, um, really anything the most expensive stuff probably in the center of the thing so it's the most safe and the coolest part I think is this little slot right here on the side opens up and that's where you stick your laptop so that's that's pretty cool this will be good for me if I'm traveling on planes and stuff like that where I have to put a bunch of camera equipment I can carry it with me and have my carry-on and also add some extra uh, extra small things if I need it on the plane now next is a Joby action clamp for my GoPro. Um, I got this because I know Joby has really sturdy mounts and uh, the GoPro stuff just wasn't cutting it. The little Jaws flex clamp thing. I got one off Amazon and it works the exact same way but when I put a really heavy GoPro on with like the extra battery pack it sometimes bounces around and falls over. So this one's like a, a super strong clamp I'll show y'all an example of it working right there. See right there, it's like a super strong clamp that tightens down, you twist it, and that actually clamps onto that, and then the bendy arm attaches to the GoPro. So I figured that was pretty cool, and I could really get some use out of this thing. And then my third item is another low pro case. Now this one is for the GoPro. Um, just a smaller compact case, but it's got a really hard shell on it so uh, I can be comfortable throwing it around in the truck or um, out of the deer lease and stuff like that and not worrying about it getting beat up or anything like that. This is my first time looking at this one. 
So I'm guessing that's for like batteries or little mounts. Has each individual little strap right there, different ones. That folds back like that and Velcros. And then right here, the main case for GoPros, mounts, lenses, batteries, anything like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, that was my $200 order that I got for free. That was really cool and huge shout out to Low Pro and Joby for, for doing that. That was great customer service and I really appreciate that. And I benefited a lot. So even though my, uh, my uh, bendy tripod broke, uh, I think I can get it fixed. And uh, anyways, huge shout out to them though. That was really cool of them to do that and send me all this stuff and uh, even offer that because a lot of companies wouldn't have. But thank you Low Pro and Joby. I appreciate it because I got some really cool stuff now. Okay, moving on to the Lucky Tackle Box. I'm just gonna pop this one open really quick. Can I show y'all a glance? I guess I'll show you the card. And if anything's cool in there, then I'll show you up close. But uh, anyways, I haven't got one of these in a while. Okay, they're gone. But uh, let's see here. Castaic BD Shad, um, a stick bait, buoy worm. Mustad, short shank treble hooks, lunker up poppin' frog, vicious tube, Sabeel vibe machine. I guess I'll show y'all a quick glance of everything. Sabeel, Mustad hooks. I always like the Mustad hooks because I don't want to go out and spend money on trebles, but I always get them in my Lucky Tackle Box and I always use them. I find, regardless of the size, I find a bait that they fit and I always put them on because exchanging hooks does help and I'm really lazy to go to the store and buy some. Um, those are tubes, vicious tubes. Use those on some smallies. Ooh, lunker hut. Poppin' frog. It looks like the mouse color. Yeah, it's the mouse. Uh, boy ducket shad, little swim bait. Let's see, Cabin Creek Buoy Worm. Looks like a little stick bait looking thing. Be good on some smallmouth. And then, Chasing Trophy Fish. Let's see if I can find the color on this thing. I can't find the color. Looks kind of like a baby bass or just like a little minnow or something. Little jerk bait. Okay, that's it with uh, the LTV. So, uh, anyways, go check them out. Put a link down below. You can go um, get your own subscription. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, I'm gonna open up this one. If you watched one of my last videos on the giveaway. There we go. One of you on the winner tomorrow. Well, you'll see this video already, but. Y'all have seen the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one of these. So one of you guys will have one of these before you see the video that you win in the giveaway. Super excited about this Hoorack package. We've been waiting on this, and it got in town like the day I left, and I didn't get to look at them. And I was really sad. Let's see. I got some stickers. Hoorack stickers. Cool, I'll definitely use those. Who rag koozies? Here's my actual who rags. Then I got one of these dry bags. These things are so cool. I saw them at ICAST, and uh, a couple of my buddies got one that were with the LTV crew, but it's a dry bag. It's pretty sweet. And here's the who rags. I haven't decided which one I'm giving away yet. Because I picked them all out myself, so I don't really want to give one away. But, uh, anyways. Got. Okay, they don't have the colors on here. So, I'll just put a link to Hoorag, and you can go find them if you really like the color. But uh, I'll go through them really quick. I got a real tree camo one to use for hunting season. I got this white one. This one's really cool. It has a really cool like pattern on it. It's kind of hard to pick up in the light. I got this for summertime, the really white color. I got this black one. It has a, I don't know if you can tell the pattern on it. It's kind of hard, like a cryptic camo. 
Got that one for winter time. Got this one for winter time. It's another cool like cryptic camo with a little bit of blue and green in it. Then I got this one. This one was sweet. This was like the some kind of digital blue and white. Pretty sweet. But all five of these are awesome colors. Pretty sweet. I'm excited about those. I've been running low. I lost like two or three of mine. And these hoo rags I like a lot better. They're so much softer than the like the buffs, but they're, they're not the not the like the dry fit material. But they're really really thin, so I like them. Um, unlike the buffs, the buffs are too thick and they're really thick cotton and they're not comfortable in the hot weather, which is when you're supposed to wear them. But uh, anyways, onto this one, the mystery item. Don't know what this one is. <laughs> oh sweet. <laughs> this is not fishing related. But, I got my watch back. I was so confused on what that one was. So, probably not interesting to you. But, uh, my watch broke. Had to get the minute hand replaced. I sent it in before I went on vacation. And I got it back. Thank the Lord. There we go. All pretty. Sweet, so not fishing related, but hey, who cares, right? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was kind of entertaining on all this junk that I got mail. Just kidding, it's not junk, it's really cool stuff. And I'm excited about using a lot of it too. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to my channel. Again, sorry for the inactivity for a long time. I was doing some other stuff and uh, getting some last minute vacation before school started. Um, hopefully I can keep the pace up once school starts going on my senior year in high school, so hopefully it's a breeze and I get to fish quite a bit during the school year. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this unboxing. Comment down below if you want more of them. And uh, subscribe if you already aren't. And again, we'll catch y'all next time.